Okay, so I thought I'd talk about fashion uh, today. If anything is the epitome of vanity, it has to be fashion, doesn't it? Uh, it's transient, it's narcissistic, uh, it frisses away uh, the money that God has made you a steward of, the time that God has made you a steward of, all that uh, preening and, and, and poncing about in front of a mirror, and that's just for men, right? But for women, I think there is, uh, for Christian women, particularly a pressure um, to conform to the women of this world. And where's that pressure coming from? Where's, and, and let's give it proper title. It's not pressure, it's a temptation to conform to the women of the world. And, and, and where's that coming from? Is it coming from the husband? Or from the boyfriend? You know, they want their wives, their girlfriends to look a certain way, uh, to present themselves in a certain way. Is, is the pressure coming through the media? Through things like the TV? I mean, I'm so glad I got rid of my TV some time ago now. Uh, but, you know, the, the, the women who are on TV are worldly women. Uh, they're, they're worldly programs made for the people of this world. And uh, the pressure that must be upon women uh, to, to conform to these role models, particularly young women and, uh, and even girls. Um, and, and it, you know, if you're going to say, well, it's not just the, the women of the world, you know, there's things like the God Channel, uh, God TV, well, from what I've seen of the women that have appeared uh, on God TV, with, with uh, you know, fake eyelashes, fake nails, uh, dyed hair, you know, some of them would give a, a, a you know, would give a temple prostitute uh, a, a, a good run for their money. You know, is that really how God wants uh, Christian women to dress? Let's just take a look at, at what the Bible says about um, how we dress. Um, if you look at uh, 1 Timothy 2, and verse 9, uh, we see that the Apostle Paul says that women should adorn themselves in modest apparel, with propriety and moderation, not with braided hair, or gold, or pearls, or costly clothing, but which is proper for women professing godliness with good works. And if we look in uh, 1 Peter uh, chapter 3 and verse 3 Do not let your adornment be merely outward arranging the hair, wearing gold or putting on fine apparel. Rather let it be the hidden person of the heart with the incorruptible beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is very precious in the sight of God. For in this manner, in former times, the holy women who trusted in God also adorned themselves, being submissive to their own husbands. Not all Christian women uh, dress in the fashions of the world. Now I see... Uh, some of the fashions of the world, perhaps because I haven't got a TV, it makes more of an impact on me. But I see the way that, you know, teenagers and, uh, uh, and even uh, girls younger than teenagers dress. And I suppose it's meant to be sexy, you know, but to me it just looks ridiculous. You know, they, they, everything's kind of squeezed in or, or pushed up. You know, but they're the, they're the people of the world. You know, they're worldly women. It, it, it's, it's to be expected, really. But when you see a Christian woman dressing like that, following the fashions of this world, it doesn't seem somehow to, to correspond to what the Apostle Paul or Peter are saying here, does it? But I think when you see a Christian woman 
um, you know, in a, in a long skirt, um, without jewels, without uh, uh, jewelry on, um, without makeup, just with, with with natural hair. You know, I think there's a real uh, beauty in that straight away, because you know that it's an outward sign that following God to her is more important than following fashion. You know that her desire is for her husband only. You know that she's making a statement. She's saying, look, I'm different to the women of this world. You know, my values are different to theirs. You know, that, 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 that it's what's inside that's important. And that's where her beauty is coming from, from that gentle and quiet spirit. And it, I think appearance says so much, often, uh, about us. And men as well, I know. But uh, particularly, I think, uh, with women. Um, and I have to say, when it comes to, to girls as well, you know, it, it, it is so refreshing to see Christian girls who, who dress not in a worldly way, uh, but just, you know, dress like children, because they're children. Um, there's nothing worse than seeing uh, young girls uh, sexualized by the fashions of the day. You know, um, I think perhaps as Christians, uh, we need to think about that. You know, perhaps as Christian women out there, um, you need to think about that. As a husband, as a father, you know, I need to think about these things and to encourage, uh, come on Christian men, encourage your wives, uh, your girlfriends, to really think about this. To, you know, is it right that you spend so much money on, on, on something as frivolous as fashion? Is it right to spend so much time uh, preening and, and, and going to the hairdresser and this kind of thing? Is it really in keeping with the verses that I've read out? You know, do people, do the people of the world look uh, at you and think, well, there's something that looks different about that person. You know, why are they not wearing all the latest designer labels? You know, we are supposed to uh, be different. We're supposed to not to uh, conform to this world. And one of the ways that we can show that we're not conforming to this world, that we don't follow the God of this world, but that we follow the Lord God Almighty, is in the way that we dress, in the kind of clothes that, that we wear. You know, for women, I think, it ought not to be uh, too revealing, you know. Uh, clothing ought not to be um, inappropriate, shall we say. It ought to be, uh, as the Apostles say, modest and ought to reflect, um, you know, how we feel about God. Now, I'm not saying that, that, that all women should dress like the Amish, uh, although perhaps we could learn uh, some lessons in, in, in that department from them. But uh, I think we have to be careful uh, about these things, uh, so that all we do in every way uh, will honour God. Go back.